7 Coca-Cola Secrets That Will Shock You If you do like the video, please like, comment, and share it to stay up to date with my latest videos. Kindly subscribe if you have not done so yet. Coca-Cola is a sweet carbonated drink, soda, cola type manufactured by the Coca-Cola Company. The name comes from two ingredients used in its original composition, coca leaf and cola nut. This is the most known beverage in the world. Every day, 1.5 billion Coca-Colas are being sold worldwide. But behind the success of the company, there are some dark sides that consumers don't know. Discover 7 Dark Facts About Coca-Cola Number 1. Coca-Cola Contained Cocaine Originally, the Coca-Cola soda was called Pemberton's French Wine Coca. It was an alcoholic beverage that contained a mixture of coca leaves from Peru, cola nuts, Damiana and cocaethylene, or just cocaine mixed with ethylene. The pharmacist John Stith Pemberton (1831–1888) invented French wine coca in Atlanta, and it became very popular in the southern United States. However, in 1886, Atlanta prohibited the manufacture and sale of the beverage because of alcohol, which led Pemberton to develop a new version without alcohol. The wine was replaced with sugar syrup, and the new version has been called Coca-Cola until today. In 1891, an Atlanta newspaper reported that Coca-Cola contained cocaine, but no legal action was taken. In 1979, a journalist, Charles Salter, had made noise because he was sure that there is cocaine in coca. His claim was based on the fact that not only the inventor, John Stith Pemberton, was a cocaine addict, but a 1910 document which reproduced the authentic recipe of Coca-Cola. Nutmeg, lemon, alcohol, orange, coriander, cinnamon, and coca leaves. Number 2. Step & Company Cocaine Extract Indeed, Mr. Salter was right. Coca-Cola did in fact contain some cocaine, further investigation revealed. Although since 1929, the company officially claimed it stopped using cocaine. It is believed that trace of the powerfully addictive stimulant drug is still being used because the Coca-Cola company still imports coca leaves in the U.S. to be processed in a lab known as the Steppen Company or Steppen Lab. Steppen Lab removes from the leaves their alkaloid econine, substance which gives cocaine its addictive stimulant effects on the brain, before incorporating them into the drink. Thus, no lab that has analyzed Coca-Cola can find any trace of the drug in the drink. Approximately 100 metric tons of coca leaves are being imported to the Steppen Company each year. Those activities remained a secret until the late 1980s, when the New York Times seemed shocked to discover the truth. If you still don't get it, they don't burn or discard the cocaine extracted. They sell it for medical purpose. When you consider a gram of cocaine is worth up to $100, 333,000 grams is thus worth roughly 33.4 million on the street. This is huge money. 3. Alternative to Morphine After being seriously wounded in the American Civil War, John Pemberton became addicted to morphine. Wanting to get rid of his morphine addiction, he turned in search of an opium-free substitute. He developed at his drugstore in Columbus, Georgia, a prototype for Coca-Cola's recipe. He called it Brain Tonic and Intellectual Beverage. In the years to come, Coca-Cola would continue to be sold as a nerve tonic, mental aid, headache remedy, and as an alternative cure for morphine addiction. Number 4. Corrosive Chemicals Coca-Cola has corrosive chemicals which can cause harmful damage to your body. The company receives an acid delivered in barrels marked corrosive. Although it's no secret for a few, the masses have no clue. You can do your own investigation by leaving a spoon in a bottle of coke overnight and checking it in the morning. Can you imagine when this chemical comes in contact with your stomach? Thanks to the internet, some people now know the cleansing properties of Coca-Cola. The same chemicals which attacks and gets rid of grimes also harmfully attacks the cells of consumers. To justify themselves, Coca-Cola boldly points out that many other foods – tomato juice, wine, fruit juice, milk, soft drinks without alcohol – also contain a small amount of corrosive acid, which is much lower than what's naturally present in the stomach. Number 5. 108 grams plus of high fructose corn syrup per 1 liter of Coca-Cola As confirmed by nutritionalists worldwide, the most troublesome ingredient in Coca-Cola is sugar. Drinking 1 liter of Coca-Cola is swallowing 108 grams of sugar in addition to high fructose corn syrup. Far too much when you consider a typical American would drink 170 liters per year. That's the equivalent of 20 kilos of sugar. 
sugar is largely responsible for the growing dependence on soda that children and adults experience today. Refined sugar is a sweet legal poison that sends millions of people to the grave every year. To prevent diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular risks, some people drink Diet Coke. Alas, they don't know it contains sweeteners like aspartame, which is so dangerous that it can cause up to 92 serious medical conditions, adverse effects. There is too much to say here on the ravaging effects of sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and aspartame in your body. Please see the link below for a special video on 7 deadly effects of Coca-Cola on your body. Talking about corn syrup, here's what Dr. Mark Hyman says. High fructose corn syrup is the real driver of the current epidemic of heart attacks, strokes, cancer, dementia, and of course, type 2 diabetes. Number 6. Carcinogenic Ingredients Coca is a carcinogen. It can cause cancer. According to the WebMD team, lab tests commissioned by Consumer Group finds that popular colas, including Coke and Pepsi, carry a caramel coloring chemical that causes cancer in lab animals. The drink contains caramel coloring number 4. This dye is the coloring substance that gives coca its characteristic brown color. That is why the state of California has cut its maximum rate of 29 milligrams per can, except indicate on the package that the dye may cause cancer. However, elsewhere in the United States and around the world, where the regulations don't require Coca-Cola to continue selling its soda with a higher rate of this dangerous ingredient, for instance, in France, people drink Coca contains 79 milligrams E150D. Coke and Pepsi, with the acquiescence of the FDA, are needlessly exposing millions of Americans to a chemical that causes cancer, stated Executive Director Michael F. Jacobson. Number 7. Assassination of Nine People In 2001, a lawsuit was filed in a Miami federal court against Coca-Cola and their two Latin American brothers, Bebidos y Alimentos and Panamerican Beverages Incorporated, Panamco. The lawsuit was filed by the USW Union and the International Labor Rights Fund. It was a great move which would disclose many secrets of the giant company. Steelworkers President Leo Girard stated, We are filing this case to show our solidarity with the embattled trade unions of Colombia. The lawsuit was filed on behalf of Sinal Trainal, the union that represents Colombian Coca-Cola workers, of which Oscar Dario Soto Polois was the leader. The plaintiffs were seeking an unspecified amount of compensation and an end of human rights abuses. But they were playing with fire. Oscar Dario Sotopolo and eight other members of the union who were workers in the bottling plants were murdered by death squads during the trial. In 2003, the court dismissed the case against Coca-Cola, but it allowed it to proceed against the two bottlers. In September 2006, the court dismissed the claims against the two bottlers and rejected the plaintiff's attempt to bring Coca-Cola back into the lawsuit, according to Business and Human Rights Resource Center.